My name is Michael Clark and I'm an adventure sports photographer. For this assignment, we were photographing downhill skateboarders. We had Ryan Farmer, who's the 2017 world champion, and two other skateboarders, Joshua Newman and Dustin Hampton. So downhill skateboarding is essentially, it's like a longer board. It's basically finding a somewhat steep road and just descending a road on a skateboard. I'm trying to capture that essence of speed. And so I'm looking for how they skate and trying to accentuate that for each of them. And you know, the amazing thing is these guys are going sometimes up to hundred miles an hour. Man, this rock worked out great. It's got like way more tie downs. Right when we started talking about downhill skateboarding, I wanted to have a vehicle that I could be moving in with the athletes. Pickups have all these lash points in the pickup so we could put climbing webbing. And it also helps with consistent lighting because I would have my assistant in the pickup truck with us. So for this assignment, we were shooting with the Fujifilm GFX 100S. I really wanted to work hard to use a lot of motion blur to kind of show that movement. We were using very slow shutter speeds or somewhat slow. So we're anywhere from like one tenth of a second to up to maybe one thirtieth of a second. And then also use flash to freeze the movement so you can see details of the subject, but you understand that they're going incredibly fast. Since I use strobes a lot, we're kind of creating our own lighting. For some of the shots, we were looking for available light, so we had to find pockets of available light. Whenever I'm setting up strobes, I'm using experience, obviously, from having used them for decades, just knowing how the light reacts to a person's face. One thing to understand is the more strobes you set up, the more kind of locked in as to where the shooting position is going to be, and basically pointing those two strobes at each other, so it creates what we call a light trap, and that creates basically a shadow down the center of the frame on the athlete. Whenever I'm shooting portraits, I tend to aim for the large format cameras. Um, and we had a wide variety of the GFX lenses, including everything from the 23 millimeter all the way up to the 250 millimeter lenses. I mean, the beauty of large format in photography, bigger sensor or bigger image circle always results in better image quality. I tested out the IBIS, the internal stabilization in the camera, and it seemed to even be better than the GFX 100. In all of my adventure sports photography, but especially this assignment, I want the viewer to understand what it feels like for the athlete to be doing what they're doing. And oftentimes that means getting really close to the athlete. Sometimes it means being farther away, but you want to capture this feeling. Like, what does it feel like to be on a skateboard doing 70 miles an hour? You know, and think through how we could actually capture that. I think for me, the most appealing thing about the GFX 100S is just, it'll allow me to take it to places that I may not have taken a larger, heavier camera.